proven your uh, your idea over there for the uh, Fort Diego. But uh, right here, I believe, is where literally General Diego himself fought against the American military, where he got Governor Griffin when he wasn't governor yet, while he was trying to cross the border, and where he turned on Red Harlow's father, Nate, gave Diego the other half of Nate's share, well, gave Diego Nate's share in exchange for Griffin's wife. And, uh, like I said, water has grown up quite a bit, um, but this definitely looks a whole lot like it. But uh, that's really it for this right here. We need to actually head back west because there was one place I forgot about. Super hop on that horse. So, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll give like a two minute thing where, where uh, I'll explain to the places I do not know where they are. Location because there is plenty of location. And look, there's a cougar there's actually. All them old ladies after me. The next one's another gang of hideout. If you want to go ahead and ride there, we can. It's tumbleweed. If you want to go ahead and ride there, we can. If you don't want to. And, you know, let's just put the transport wherever you want. Go ahead and ride ahead if you want to go, if you want to go ahead and ride there. Go ahead and jump off your horse and go transport. Okay. Ride there then. Let's see if he'll hit the transport. He'll get there before us. Yeah, I'll see you. That guy's over there. It's actually, another thing about that gang hideout is, uh, uh, probably the best scariest place in this game. I don't really believe in most of this ghost shit. Oh, actually, real quick, while we're right here, while we're right here, um, Super, he has another theory. Somewhere around here is gonna be a random, uh, thing, a random, like, sheet on the ground. Have, like, a hole, a small, small hole somewhere around here. Um, if you want to, we can have time to look around for it, but I'm pretty sure it's on the other side of the rock, so. Um, it's a small sheet. Super believes this is where uh, Shadow Wolf was buried. He believes that right around here is where Shadow Wolf was buried. The small little, uh, not even like a. It's kind of hard to see too because it's around here in the uh, bushes and stuff. It's kind of hard to see. Probably. Go around looking, you'll eventually find it. It might feel all the way around the entire rock like we're doing. So find it. It's also supposed to be a uh, wolf. I'm not sure if he's losing the werewolf story. Supposedly another werewolf. One up in tall trees and one around here. This is supposedly where he's at and he jumps along those rocks and stuff. But uh, of course I can't find it now. So I'm looking for it. Just went around the entire thing, didn't find it. Uh, I'm not... I don't know where it is. We've gone around this entire thing the lower half again, so I can't find it now. Was, of course, I'm looking for it now. Now it won't be found. I'm looking for it. Maybe super. No, we we'll have to cross back here again. I'm already here, though. We're already here. So I'm looking for it. There's been two rumors that either that Shadow Wolf's corpse under it, or that's Red Harlow's cousin, or it is the werewolf's corpse. So it might be a mix of both stories, it might be Shadow Wolf that turned into a werewolf, which I don't believe, but it still could be. Oh, um, I do not know. But also, interestingly, uh, there's a lot of wolves around here. Not 
surprisingly, there's a lot of wolves in run down little territories like this. There's lots of wolves. We're going to be back. Oh, there's a lot For saddle support, so we believe. But oh well, um, we can't find it. Oh well, let's, I guess let's just go ahead and head tumbleweed because we've already searched around this a couple times. Um, but yeah, it'll just be kind of like a blanket over a hole in the ground. It's a whole lot native-like. Super, you got that uh, hot out there? He's riding in now. Okay, like I was saying, Tumbleweed is perhaps one of the most scariest places in the entire Red Dead. There's supposedly three different ghosts. Um, I'll explain more about that once we get there, but uh, there's a lot of odd things there. There's a floating lantern. Um, supposedly, you'll see the ghost if you shut down all the lights in the big house. There's also been rumors that this is supposed to be Governor Griffin's home up there, which I do not believe, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Um, I believe that this is that town where you play as Jack, save that girl, she tells you about the, uh, about the dual brimstone. Oh, he left again. Great. Anyways, tells you about the dual and brimstone, because like I said, they, it looks a little bit different, but, uh, I believe that this is the place. Um, it looks a whole lot alike. Reason is, center of town, right here, the center of town. Correct. A whole lot of stuff around, just like the other town. Okay. A whole lot like it. I cannot prove this, of course, like I can't prove my listed. But, this right here looks a lot like it. A lot of stuff around. However, the water tower is kind of an interesting thing. The water tower has been moved quite a bit. Water tower is all the way over here now. All the way over... Where is it? It's it nowhere around here now. It's way on... Somewhere completely different now. Not even in the same. Anyways, there's no... There's a water, water tower somewhere around here, but... The game, the water tower is somewhere in the middle, so... Anyway, um, this right here is basically the town. Oh. But, but uh, let's head to the next location. I already went there, so, uh, let's head all the way down over to Side Wonders Gulch. The next place. Very, 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 very long drive. All the way down to Mexico. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm back to the next place. This right here, if you look on your map, it's called Sidewater Gulch. It's pretty weird. If you remember, um, this kind of canyon place where you're dragging that wagon to, which it looks kind of embedded in a little bit now, because like I said, they changed it quite a bit. But it looks like it would be, because in real life, it would be kind of a uh, wider now, but. It was kind of narrower now. If you do remember for the Buffalo Soldier mission, you were fighting off Native. Native American, uh, Mexican Natives. Fighting off Mexican Natives. So, I think you went through here, and I just took the wrong turn. But oh well. Anyway, um, fought off a bunch of folks. Um, one of them was Standing Snake, which is a pretty popular, uh, Native from that game. Besides Shadow Wolf himself, I believe he's the only other, uh, Native. Besides, uh, so Falling Star. Like 100% native that you play as. Um, at least in most of the things. But, uh, this right here, where I believe Buffalo Soldier played his in. Fought through a bunch of stuff. I believe somewhere up 
here. Look right here in the map. The front to our bridge. It's where you went over. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for just this. We're almost done with the video now. Um, we have another place to go to. Very, very close. This is all very, very close to each other. There's nothing really specific or really interesting about this place, to be honest. Besides, it's just very windy. It's kind of different. Most of the places, if you notice, have something kind of interesting about it, or, you know, just spend a lot of time there, you know? Not really this. I mean, there's just campment right here. It's actually kind of weird because there's no, uh, there's no beds in there. There's camps, but there's no beds inside there. It's kind of weird. But, uh, besides that, there's nothing really interesting about this place. It's kind of windy, looks different, you wouldn't really expect it. And, uh, besides that, there's nothing really interesting. Um... Okay, let's head over to the next location. Okay, this right here, Plata Grande. Real, in the real game, it was called Bear Mountain. Like I said, this is another place that's really half-assed. Because they changed the name quite a bit. I'm not sure what the hell Plata Grande means. To be honest, I have no clue what that means. I don't speak Spanish. I'm a Texan. In English. So, uh, going right here. Very, very small mine, but if you do remember, it was also a small mine in Red Dead Revolver. Um, it also kind of caved in a bit. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that maybe Red Harlow went down there later, maybe blew it up, or maybe somebody else came in, took all the gold out, blew it up themselves, but I believe that this is that mine. There's also this right here. It's another writing. It says, the root of all evil. We thank you. There's another evil one. With this right here, it gives you $500. If you enter this in on the campaign, you'll get $500. We'll you just keep on repeating and get $500 as well if you keep on hitting. On. But, uh, we only have one more location. We're pretty much almost done when it comes to locations. We send, if you have noticed, we've spent this entire thing in one Mexican county, which actually we're about to go to the other one, barely across the other county. Barely, barely across. Um. Okay, here we are. This right here, I don't know what's interesting in uh, Actually, this place looks half-assed, kind of looks like it could be Fort Diego, to be honest. Look, this looks half-assed like it could be. Kind of too small, to be honest, but it looks like it could be. You understand. It's honestly kind of half-assed, also kind of looks like... Mm, not really, actually. I was going to say kind of half-assed with the uh, Alamo, but it really doesn't. And I believe that the copy of the Alamo in this game is supposed to be the lost tomorrow. No, that's the uh, church in Mexico. Big church. Done a little bit. Which I think is pretty dumb for, you know, the Alamo, first of all, to be in Mexico, and for second of all, for feel, they call it inhabited by, by a church, because it was actually um, stopped being used a couple decades before, before they technically started using it as a fort. It's the Mexicans. But anyways, this right here, it looks Kind of like the place where uh, you fought whenever you whenever you destroyed that gold wagon. Do you remember? It's where you first get in contact. Actually, it's where you first kill any of Diego's men, and you break down. Uh, actually, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Cause we kind of have kind of like a broken looking wagon right here. At least pieces of it. But uh, it's right here. Looks pretty close, which actually would be above up here, and you kind of go around in circles and stuff, which you not get up there. Um, I've already tried it. You cannot get up there. And if you do know how, please put it in the comment or something. I do not know how, but 
Anyways, um, 